guys, Kyle Light here. Welcome to The Rap, presented by Murphy'sMagic.com. What is Unwrapped? You don't know because it's the very first episode, but I'm excited to tell you. Unwrapped is a weekly review show hosted by myself here in Las Vegas, but I wanted to make my review show different. I don't want to be the guy standing up here looking all handsome telling you what you should buy and what you shouldn't buy. That is up to you, but I do want to help you make your purchases. So I'm going to tell you what I like about these effects, what I don't like about the effects, uh, maybe make some suggestions of what I think might make the effects better. But with that all being said, what I hope is going to help you the most is that every single week I'm going to take these effects out onto the street and perform them for real live people here in Las Vegas and record their reactions and show them to you and therefore you can see if those are the reactions that you are looking for in your magic. So that all being said, let's get started. This week on Unwrapped uh, we have Polyester by Ziva Viva and the Silver Swindle uh, created by Romanus and Routine by Dave Forrest. So let's start out with a live performance of Polyester. Uh, so we're gonna do a card trick. Uh, do you like card tricks? No. A little bit? Okay, <laughs> good. Okay. Uh, it's an ordinary deck of cards, right, Leo? All different, all next stuff. And what was your name again? Sophie. Sophie, okay, make sure you don't forget. Uh, do a favor, touch a card. Just, just touch one? one. Yeah, just touch one ever. That one, right? Yeah. There, right? Yeah. Free choice, that felt good? Uh -huh. uh, we're gonna square up the cards and you're gonna take a look at it. Uh -huh. Okay, and Leo? Show the camera. Perfect. I don't want to see it, and uh, that can go back in there. And Leo, you can shuffle up the cards for me, okay? How fancy! Now uh, go ahead and put them back into the card box because I don't. We don't need them anymore. And here's the thing: I'm not going to find your card. I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I used to watch. Uh, I used to read comic books, and they used to have these little things called decoders. They were a little piece of plastic that you went over the comic book, and it would reveal secret codes and stuff. It was kind of dorky, uh, but I have some of those now. And uh, we're gonna take one of these off. It's just like a little sticker. And you can see right through the sticker, right, Sophie? And Leo, you can see there's nothing on it, right? We're gonna put it right here on the card box. So you can see right through it, right? Yeah. Check this out, watch. Uh, you, picked, uh, you picked a card. Uh -huh. You shuffled it, put it back in the card box. There's no way I would know, right? Check this out. I just peel the sticker off. Watch what happens. Wow! <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> this is like that, the Queen of Hearts is now on that sticker. Now what's even cooler is that that's actually permanently on there. Wow. And you can actually keep that. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> How'd you do that? It's pretty cool, right? It yeah. is, man. Huh? High did. five. I mean, I mean... They I, approve. <laughs> I thought you gotta pick the cards or whatever you pick or something like that. I mean... I never seen it like this before. All right, guys. So that was polyester. Uh, basically, the effect in a nutshell, from what you saw, is that you get these clear red stickers that you can stick onto any flat surface, like a cell phone screen or a table. Uh, beforehand, you have someone select a card, and then as you rip the sticker off the object, you can actually visibly see their card revelation appear in the sticker onto the sticker uh it's really cool uh the effect itself is very interesting like i've never seen anything like this before um yeah it's it's that's the way, only way i can say it. i've never seen anything like this before uh according to the back of the dvd here you get a uh, hundred uh, it's um here, right here uh shape shifting stickers easy to use visual any smartphone any deck of cards adaptive and ingenious multiple routines inside that is all correct. Uh, he does teach multiple routines. You can use any flat surface uh, like or any cell phone, uh, any deck of cards. Um, really cool. Uh, with the DVD, you get 150 stickers with three different designs, 100 bonus stickers with two additional designs, one extra gimmick, which to be honest, I wouldn't call an extra gimmick, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, one DVD and two music files, which I thought this was really interesting. Ziva actually, when he pulls out his phone and performs this, he actually plays music while performing it. And I don't think I've seen too many people who have adapted like a stage um, principle, like music, and put it in a close-up street situation, like a you know, this is a random situation doing magic. You start playing music. I don't think I've ever seen that before. With that all being said, uh, the DVD itself. Uh, it's pretty well produced. It's a one camera shop, a good quality, uh, black curtain, you know, it's very simple, but you do learn everything you need to learn. Um, now let's talk about the trick. Um, the trick, like I said, it's interesting. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, 
but my one, uh, my I have I have two complaints, I guess, or two things I don't like about it. Uh, and one of those is exactly what I said. I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, these you get these clear red stickers uh, that nobody has ever seen in their life. Like these are not a common object. So when you pull them out, it's like a weird foreign object. It's like weird and nobody's ever seen it before. You know, uh, on the DVD, Ziva talks about like a QR reader or a barcode reader on your cell phone. And like, that's cool. And I guess that's trying to make sense out of it. But there's still that problem that people, people aren't stupid. I mean, people know that that's not an actual barcode reader. You know, they know that's a barcode reader is an app on your phone, not that. And even then some people don't even know what a QR reader is. Um, so it's it's hard to make sense out of these objects. And my performance, which you saw, I talked about when I was a kid reading comic books. I still do. Don't judge me. Uh, and uh, I would get these, you know, little readers that would allow secret messages to appear. And that's true. They were little pieces of red, thin plastic, and uh, they look very similar. Um, but besides that, nobody's ever seen that. So that was my one thing I didn't like about it. My second thing I didn't like about it is um, you have to. In order to activate the sticker, you have to place it down onto a flat surface and then take it back off and then replace it back down. And there's no reasoning. On the DVD, uh, Ziva does not actually give a reasoning for peeling it off, uh, which I understand in magic, you don't always have to give a reasoning. You're a magician, just do magic. Uh, but it would be nice, at least in the presentation or the pattern, for a reason to pull that off. And he doesn't go over that, but that's also where you can come in and make up your own pattern and your own presentation, and you can give yourself a reasoning to do that. Uh, on the DVD, he gives multiple routines with multiple different handlings of playing cards. He utilizes cell phones and all of them, which I think a cell phone is cool because it's a modern object and you can turn the camera on and things like that. Um, he also gives you this extra gimmick, which like I said before, I wouldn't call it an extra gimmick. Uh, basically, it's a small piece of acrylic plastic that you can carry around in your wallet in case you don't have a cell phone or a flat object that you would like to perform this on. You can pull out that uh, piece of plastic, which yet again, the stickers are already are, are ugh, the stickers are already weird. And then on top of that, you bring out this clear piece of plastic from your wallet. Like who carries plastic in their wallet? So I think it's really nice of him and really cool of him to supply that for you in case you happen to want to use it or I'm sure somebody wants to use it. Uh, it's just like, I would never do that just because it's, I, I don't I don't carry pieces of plastic around with me on a normal basis. So, you know, it's just not a normal object. Um, but those are just, you know, things I don't like about it. But the things I love about it is like, I, I'll be honest, I don't comprehend, I, I don't get how these work. I, I have I've tried it 20 times and I've watched it really slow. And it, if I have, it's like magic, it's like witchcraft. There's, you know, there's no answer. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, it's really cool. Um, so the effect is cool. It got a pretty good reaction. I filmed it a few times, and uh, most of the times we filmed it, we got a good reaction. Only once that I filmed it, we didn't get a, a good reaction, but I had a feeling it was kind of the people I was performing for. Uh, so generally it gets a good reaction. It's fl They're flat, you can carry them around anywhere. Um, you know, the effect itself is, the effect itself is great. Uh, it's just um, the object you're performing the effect with is a little weird, and on top of that, it's, you know, you have to peel and unpeel. So those are just little me things nitpicking, but you can definitely um, make sense out of that with your own presentation and your own performance. So uh, that was Polyester by Ziva Viva. Let's check out the Silver Swindle. Hi Shannon, uh, we're gonna do a magic trick here. Uh, it's not really a magic trick, it's, um, so when I was a kid, I don't know if you, if you were ever a child, but if you were, you might have had an uncle, like I had a creepy uncle who would always be like, guess which hand the candy's in, right? Right. It's, it's kind of like my family story, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, but I have two quarters here, and we're going to try to make this difficult. So what I want you to do is take this marker and uh, put your initials or draw a little drawing, a smiley face, or something on that quarter so you know it's a quarter that you have drawn on. You know it's that only quarter in the entire world that has that drawing on it or whatever. A smiley okay. face, how cute. Okay. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my back, I'm going to turn my head, and I want you to place one of these quarters in my hand. It's a completely free choice up to you, okay? You can either put the smiley face one or the unsmiley face one. Okay? okay. Simple, easy. All right, here we go. Okay. So I'll put one in my hand. Okay. I'm going to put it behind my back, and I want you to cover up the other one so there's no way I can know 
if you put the smiley face or the unsmiley face. Got it? Okay. Okay, I'm going to open my eyes. Uh, just concentrate and think of which one you put on. If you put the smiley face or the unsmiley face, just keep going. Just, uh, I believe you put the undrawn one in my hand. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes? Cool. See, so there's no smiley face. Okay. All right. That was that was pretty good so far. Okay, calm down. Your reaction could have been bigger, but it's all right. It's all right. It's the first time. Uh, we're gonna do it again. So you have the smiley face and the unsmiley face. Okay. Uh, second time's harder, obviously. Uh, so just put one in my hand. I'm not looking. Okay, I'm gonna put it behind my back and cover up the other one so you know there's no way, right? Right. Uh, I think this time I'm gonna keep my eyes closed. Uh, I think this time you tried to trick me a little bit by giving me the undrawn one again. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So there's that. So uh, so you have the smiley face. So now this is the, uh, the the surprise ending here. I have a prediction here that's going to predict the outcome of the last time. Instead of me just guessing, it I have pre-predicted the outcome. Pretty good, right? Okay. It's exciting. <laughs> Very exciting. Okay, this time I'm going to turn my head again. Give me one last time. Whatever one you want. Okay, I'm going to put it behind my back. You put yours behind your back. Okay. Tell me when. Okay. Okay. There's no way I could know, right? Right. Okay. And uh, there's no way, and I'm not even going to bring my hand out right now. But I have a prediction. It's been sitting there the entire time. Which one did you give me? You want me to tell you which one I gave you? Yeah. The one with the smiley face on it? Which leaves you with the unsmiley face one, the undrawn one, correct? Right. Check it out. <laughs> you will have the unsigned coin, which has been in plain view the entire time, which means that I have the smiley face coin and you have the unsmiley face <laughs> coin. That's crazy. Pretty good, right? That's pretty good. All right, high five. Guys, the silver swindle, as you just saw, is a routine, basically, in a nutshell. It's a guess which hand routine. So you have two quarters. You have someone mark one of the quarters. Uh, you close your eyes, put your, you know, turn your head. They give you a quarter. Put it behind your back. And without even opening your eyes, you can immediately tell them if they've given you the drawn quarter or the undrawn quarter. Uh, the routine that you receive is a three-phase routine. Uh, it's uh, the first time you can tell which quarter they give you by the way they speak, second by the way they think, and then on the third time, before you, they even hand you a quarter, you put a prediction down on the table, they hand you a quarter, and without even taking your hand out from behind your back, they can read the prediction for themselves, and it matches the outcome, and you have pre-predicted the outcome. Um, I'll be honest, so Andy Gladwin showed this to me at Magic Live and fooled me so hard, like super bad. I'm not gonna lie, it fooled me so, so bad. I had no idea how it worked. Uh, and then he showed me the method and then it was just so clever and I was frustrated that I didn't think of it myself. Um, it's really good, like it's super clever. Uh, you receive a gimmick quarter uh, or any currency depending on you know where you live. Uh, but for me, I, I received a gimmick quarter and what's great about it is it's uh, it's a given quarter, I would say, like it's been altered from a normal quarter. Uh, but what's great is it's like it feels the same because it is, you know, it's like the same weight as a quarter, it looks same sound, same everything. So you can literally just, I just hand it to spectators and they can hold on to it and they mark it if they want it and they have no idea that they're holding on to an altered quarter. It looks, it looks great. According to the back of the DVD here, it says uh, no peaks, no magnets, no, uh, sorry, no peaks, no marks, no magnets, no stooges, no chemicals, impossible, examinable, and unfathomable. I would agree to all of that. Uh, there are none of that. Uh, there's no electronics or anything like that. Uh, in my live show, I actually perform a guess which hand routine that utilizes a electronic, and it has um, has felled on me multiple times, and uh, it's very expensive, and you have to carry a whole bunch of stuff around. Uh, but I like the concept. Of, like I like the idea of the routine. Uh, so I would. I'm. Do, I've been doing this on a daily basis because I love the idea. Uh, I just don't like carrying around this expensive electronic and losing it and stuff like that. So this is great because this is a quarter I can throw in my pocket, throw in my wallet and have ready to go and just pull it out and just perform it whenever somebody asks to see a trick or if I decide to perform the magic trick with somebody or anything like that. Um, it's really good. The DVD is uh, well produced. It's like a two camera shot, I believe. Uh, it has Dave Forrest and Amy Gladwin on it, and they uh, kind of both talk, which I think more magicians should do this. I think more magicians should have multiple magicians on an explanation DVD because then, you know, you can get different people's opinions, and, you know, people, you know, each magician can interject and say, you know, this is what I like and this is what I don't, you know. So uh, I, I like that a lot. Um, well produced, get a nice quarter. Um, so, the, the only thing that I didn't like about the, the effect is um, 
the routine, I like two of the phases that uh, Dave does. Uh, he does, uh, like I so said, the first one's about talking, the second one's about thinking, and then the one I didn't like was the, the third one, which is the pre-predicted one. Uh, and I, I don't know, I just didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. I didn't like it, uh, but that's just my opinion. So in my performance that you saw earlier, I actually changed the ending by just doing a simple multiple out routine where uh, I had one prediction written on the bottom of the card box and then the other prediction written on a playing card inside the box. So when I place the card box down, I just say, that's my prediction. So they don't know if I'm talking about the box or the contents inside. And then, you know, according to whatever one I have, uh, I just pull out that prediction. So um, I changed it up a little bit. It works better for me, but that's just me. Um, but besides that, the effect is great. I love it. Uh, I've been doing it a lot. It's great. Uh, I think you guys are going to like it. So that's the Silver Sunday. All right, guys. So that was Unwrapped. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next week with some brand new products. But before I let you go, I want to give you guys the opportunity to win both the Silver Swindle and Polyester. And there's only one way you can do that. All you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel, to Murphy's Magic YouTube channel, and comment below on this video. In the comment, tell me what you liked and what you didn't like about both of these effects. And once you've done so, we will pick a random winner to win both polyester and the silver swindle. So good luck, and I will see you guys next week.